Nikola Tesla, the man that invented the future. Nikola Tesla was a remarkable figure in the annals of science and engineering. Many regard him as one of the most influential inventors of his time, pioneering numerous innovations. While he held numerous patents, it's important to note that the exact number and the specifics of all his inventions are subjects of extensive research and discussion. Some legends even suggest he envisioned wireless energy transmission for vehicles, showcasing his forward-thinking approach. Nikola Tesla was a gift to our humanity from Venus. He was the world's greatest inventor, a pioneer who blazed the trail. It is said that he had patents for 1,200 inventions, including operating a car without fuel. He wrote an autobiography which was given to Arthur Matthews. Matthews might have been known as the son of a helper to Lord Kelvin. Matthews included Tesla's autobiography in his book, The Wall of Light. According to his biography, Nikola Tesla was born between September 7, 1856, and October 7, of the same year. The books affirms that he was born on a UFO. As a child, he was given to a good family in Serbia. Tesla was a poet and, like his earthly father, he knew entire books by heart, word for word. While walking with his friend in the city park, he recited passages in German from Goethe's Faust. His great fun came from reading books. Literature and art were a source of joy and exhilaration. One time, when he was recovering from an illness, he read the early books of Mark Twain. Years later, when he met Mr. Clement, he told him of his illness and recovery by reading his book. He was touched that Clement, that great man, had tears in his eyes. During this time, his ideas came like a flash of lightning, and he saw the images of the invention of his motor. By the age of 11, he had read all the books in his father's vast library. Until he was eight years of age, Nikola Tesla recognized that his character was weak and vacillating. Then he read a novel entitled AOFI. The book awakened his dormant powers of will. When he practiced self-control, he experienced a pleasure never known before. When I was a boy of seven or eight years old, I read a novel titled Abafi, The Son of Abba, a Serbian translation from the Hungarian of Jessica. The possibilities of willpower and self-control appealed tremendously to my vivid imagination, and I began to discipline myself. As a child, he did not believe that he was really special. When he was six years old, the family moved into the city of Ghost Beach. Seeing the city's strange people from his window in the new house was so terrifying that he said he would rather have faced a roaring lion. In boyhood, he suffered an affliction that contributed to his late awakening. He never knew he was an inventor until he was an adult. Images of ordinary things and scenes would appear accompanied by strong flashes of light, which marred the sight of real objects. He was unable to distinguish whether what he saw was tangible or not. When he was a child, he admired a picture of Niagara Falls. He told his uncle that someday, he would harness that power with a wheel. He did so 30 years later through the use of his alternating polyphase current system of electricity. When I was nine years old, I built a turbine in a mountain stream on my father's land, and connected it up with bolts to all sorts of machinery. I told my uncle, someday, I'm going to America, and I will run a big wheel at Niagara Falls. I had read about Niagara Falls and it fascinated me. 
My uncle didn't take it seriously. You'll never see Niagara Falls, he told me. But, I did come to America, and I did put a big wheel in Niagara Falls. Nikola Tesla was a super polyglot who could speak eight languages, including Serbo-Croatian, English, Czech, French, German, Hungarian, Italian, and Latin. He claimed to have had a three-dimensional memory and a thought process that tormented him in his youth. But later, the same thought process aided him with building his inventions in his own mind, without wasting any physical energy. His memory was so remarkable, that it's said that even in Tesla later years, he was able to recite by heart long mathematical formulas, and many of the world's most famous heroic poetry in their original languages. Nikola Tesla The man that invented the future Article by Marguerite Darbogia Based on Nikola Tesla autobiography by Arthur Matthews Read more about this and other fascinating articles at PythagorasTeachings.org and FreePythagorasTeachings.com